Do you like epic comeback stories? Stories where the underdog wins? Then you're going to love this one. The Winter Olympics just finished and we had these amazing comebacks by Sean White, the US women's hockey team, the US men's curling team. I have another epic comeback story for you all the way from Poland, featuring Justina Bucks, who left her nine to five and now has Power BI clients in New York and London in the advertising and restaurant business. But it didn't start off that way. This is a story of hard work and heartache, but also of grit, perseverance, and believing in yourself. If you or someone you know has a Power BI story, let me know at the link below. Now, let's hear from Justina Bucks. Hey Justina, how are you doing today? Hey, I'm fine, thanks. All right, lovely Both to have you nice. here. Awesome, terrific. So, hey, I'm just gonna jump right in. I would love to hear from you, and I have we haven't talked in a few, uh, well, in, in a bit. So I would love to hear from you, what are the projects you're working on these days? What's going on? Well, I um, have a few ongoing projects right now. Okay. As I'm uh, very busy, like I was very busy lately. So there is a project for um, power up for restaurants to not only see um, reports but also input data on a daily and weekly basis, kind of end of day, end of week reports uh -huh. uh, with also the weather and so on. So it's a very, very exciting project which I am currently most uh, um, engaged in. Uh, there is also uh, other project um, with um, counting uh, active employee in any uh, chosen time slot, one hour time slot and sessions that have different starts and ends. As people also start uh, one or two shifts during one day. So it, it was very uh, complex project. It's uh -huh. kind of finished some uh, minor changes still. That's needed for that, but the main engine is already working. I made. Wow, wow. <laughs> so that sounds amazing. Uh, there's a saying in Hindi, which I'm going to not try to translate, but it essentially talks about that how the student can go much further than the teacher. And that certainly happened here because Power Apps is one of those things which I've kind of thought about, seen in the demos, and, and never quite dipped my toe in. So maybe we'll have you teach me or come back and show what you've done a little bit in the class. So that's really cool. But I want to take take yeah. you back. So this is this is great. And a lot of people would look at you and like, wow, that's that's great. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to be. I want to have I want to have clients kind of lined up, and I want to be working for them. But you had a pretty unusual start. Tell me about the beginning of that journey. And this was about the time when you joined uh, the Learn Power BI program. Tell me about that. Yeah. Well, actually, it started even earlier before uh, joining. Uh... Um, the Learning Power BI program. Mm -hmm. uh, the first time I heard about it was not, even not Power BI, Power Pivot, was yeah. uh, during my um, first maternity leave. We have in Poland one year maternity leave. Okay. Um, paid maternity leave. So I have quite a lot of time to enjoy motherhood and uh, to kind of get new perspective for my mm -hmm. life. How I mm -hmm. like uh to see in the future so uh before that maternity leave i well kind of till lately till lately i worked for uh i worked in bank in corp by um, typical corporate uh, office job yeah, um yeah. And, I, and i like it i like it i spent there nine years so so it was uh, Nice job, but once I become mother of my daughter, I mm, get the perspective that I would like to have more work-life balance. Uh, uh -huh. So I started to think about some job that I can do from home. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I started to dig in um, what, what could it be. I found out that uh, that what makes me most happy in my previous job was uh, actually making Excel tools, Excel All reports right. for, yeah. for people that is, that is their job, that mm -hmm. make it much, much easier. 
And so I started to uh, looking for that kind of remote job. And I found uh, some portals portals for freelancers when there are such offers. Uh, but uh, I found out that they are looking for something I don't know. Power Query, Power Pivot, what is that? Yeah. So, so I started to Google it. And um, I decided I, that I need to learn it. But it was uh, my maternity leave was coming to the end then. So I just made a plan for the future because I uh, planned to have another child after mm -hmm. some time. So I came back to my uh, office work and I don't regret that because I uh, then I kind of feel on my skin how I really would like to change that. <laughs> that wow. Uh, yeah, you, you came back with a new was, perspective. Yeah, not because the job was bad. I uh, my salary was raised. I got new tasks. It was uh, mm -hmm. very nice, but um, but I felt that I would like to spend more time with the child at home uh, to to kind of um, as you call that in your kind of last video. Uh, not work like balance, but work like blend. <laughs> I thought that that would, <laughs> yeah. that would really work for me. So, so I wrote that plan for uh, learning our pivot, our PI. Uh, and once uh, I was pregnant the uh, second time, uh, I started to learn also from your books. <laughs> uh -huh. But that pregnancy was. Um, was very hard, was high risk. I need mm -hmm. to spend all, most of that pregnancy lying in the, in the bed. Uh, so it was a hard time for me. And, um, but yeah, I managed to learn, learn, learn during those better and worse waves. Um, and uh, I was just a couple of days after finishing your book when I, I wake up in the morning, I opened my email box and I saw email from you. Yeah. And that was, that was kind of uh, very surprising for me. It was an invitation to a free uh, webinar about Power BI. Uh, and um, of, of course, I sign in. But uh, during that webinar, you um, offer to uh, to apply for being uh, one of the beta testers of your program. That's right. Yeah, so this was you guys are the guinea pigs. This was me opening doors for my program back at the beginning of 2017. Yeah. Beta program. There was no program. There was nothing in it. There was nothing created. But I said, yeah, it's uh, we're going to create it on the go. And you were brave enough to sign up. Um, and, and so I think around the time you officially started, you, you did have your second child, right? And, and then you continued from there. Yeah, it was crazy because I was not ideal candidate for that. Uh, your program should start, I was uh, about to start when I was at the beginning of ninth month. So I was, uh, at the end of the pregnancy could start laboring anytime and actually, uh, even, um, yeah, uh, uh, my son was born five days before you. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was crazy. Crying. But <laughs> hey, if you ask me, I mean, if you look at, I mean, I saw your performance in the class, your, your speed at which you went through the lessons and everything. In spite of everything going on, the you were still very active, participating in the class. And of course, when we look at the results, just you know, I would say you you were definitely the ideal candidate. You were exactly the kind of person I wanted in my beta. So yeah, I, I was glad to have you there. Oh uh, wow! So that's that's terrific. So that was kind of you got in the program, and then of course you're here now with consulting engagements, working in the restaurant industry, advertising, and different clients across the world. So that sounds pretty exciting, but often I know in my life experience that I expected and a lot of people when, when they start out, they expect like a straight path to success. Like we'll go from point A to point B, but there was a big uh, a roadblock or a decision point. So you, you were in the program, but then you had to make a call 
whether to continue in a way pursuing your dream or go back to the old life. Tell me, tell me about that point. Yeah. So uh, once I finished the program, the the main course, um, I started to looking for uh, some contracts. And it was not easy to find first paid contracts. Yeah. It was kind of hard without uh, um, experience because I, I had yeah. knowledge, but the experience, mm -hmm. uh, it was only on some public available data. Yeah. As working yeah, it's a, it's a chicken and egg problem, right? I mean, gosh, how would I get, get experience if nobody kind of hires me? And well, when they hire, they're looking to hire, they're looking for experience. Okay. Um, Go on. Yes. Yeah, so, so that was the first project uh, uh, in May 2017, and there were some waves of good time and bad time when I have no mm -hmm. clients, when I have some clients. So um, I was um, uh, I, I experienced some ups and downs during that journey. Yeah when I believe in my strengths and when I think that no, I, I, would, I would need to come back to my work because I was still in the, in, during maternity leave, my finances were secured by the paid, mm -hmm. paid one, one year leave. But wow. uh, at the end of the year, I needed to decide what, what's next. Yeah. <laughs> should I come back to my work or should life, I yeah. try, try? <laughs> Uh, I continue that uh, working um, as yeah. a Power BI consultant. Yeah. And actually, I made the decision during the down uh, wave when <sighs> I had no active clients at all. <laughs> uh, and um, but I thought that well, yeah, there were there were previous months good. There might be mm -hmm. next months even better as it would be um, when I will come back to my work, I will reg regret not taking that risk. And, and oh, we even had, love it. We even had um, at that time occasion to, to talk, maybe not to talk, but to um, exchange uh, emails information. And you told me that maybe I should believe that it will just work out and uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I don't even remember saying that. <laughs> yeah, wow, that that's that's so powerful. I want to just stay in that moment for a little bit. So th there there was this moment where, uh, yeah, I mean, you had a choice to go back to the old life, and but you chose to believe in yourself. That that's incredibly powerful. That's really cool. Yeah, I realized that the uh, the decision was. Uh, um, in a month before the end of uh, end of my maternity leave, so I was I was at the moment when there was no, no active clients for a while, um, just one month left, and I was the fear was paralyzing me. Wow. <laughs> I was doing wow. nothing then. <laughs> I was doing nothing because I was feared that that. All that work was for nothing. Oh gosh, I, I feel <laughs> so happy for you. I think you you definitely deserved every bit of it. Um, so uh, you know, I, I will say. So I, I didn't even plan on on talking about this, but you talked about your journey, and I'm thinking about my own journey. And of course, I don't have that kind of the maternity experience. I've I've only been a dad, not a mom. But um, one of my hardest phases in my life was when I lost my job at I was working at the Washington Mutual Bank. And my daughter was uh, was born around the same time. And when I look back, it was incredibly stressful. I was I was at my wit's end, but in a way that was also a very transformative experience. So a lot of times, at least when I uh, when I when I think a lot of people look at a career for a woman, they see the maternity leave as, as a blip, as as a setback, but. Kudos to you. I mean, what an incredible story that you've actually used, not just, you know, both of your maternity leave, you did something really big in your life to turn it around. Um, I'm yeah. wrong. That's great. Because what, what, what happened next, once I uh, made that decision that no matter how it would be in the next month, last month of my maternity leave, I will continue. I will continue the consultancy job. And once I made that decision, 
kind of week later, uh, I, I was competing uh, with five other consultants for a contract. Good, great. <laughs> and that was crazy time because I have a kind of hospital at home with pneumonia for with one kid, brown kid with other kids. So me and my husband were also seriously sick. Oh. But I won that competition. <laughs> So, wow. so, and, and I still work with those clients. Oh, that is super amazing. So, uh, gosh, I feel like there's so much uh, I want to talk about. And uh, maybe we'll have you back and give us a little more details. Maybe show the model and talk about some of the technical stuff. I would certainly love to see the Power App stuff. But the one question I want to ask is, so now that you've started working with clients, what's kind of one thing that you feel has been one of the key lessons? And it could be something technical or it could be something, I don't know, like behavioral, just, just how do you engage with the client on the, on the soft side of things? Would, does something come to mind that, oh yeah, I mean, by working, by actually doing it, this is what I learned, which I didn't quite know earlier. Well, from the business point of view, I kind of learn how to manage uh cooperating with clients, so how to organize the time between uh, them, because there, there is always, even if I plan work just for one client, there is also uh -huh. some gaps for waiting for some feedback, etc. Uh -huh. So I managed to have, um, to organize to have at least two clients at one time, so, uh, so I have no gaps <laughs> All right. between. <laughs> All well, right. not, uh, not planned by me. I, I plan also gaps. That's terrific. That's <laughs> terrific. Love that. So, uh, so hey, if people do love your story and love what you're doing, if they want to follow you and maybe even want to work with you, where do they go? Where's the best place to find you? Well, um, my LinkedIn profile. LinkedIn profile. Uh, maybe we can give the link um, under the Sh video. Sure. Sure. Yeah. So we'll, we'll put the link on the video and definitely in the notes below. So Justina, I want to thank you so much. I have always felt incredibly inspired by your story and thank you for just sharing it with the world. Thank you so much. Thank you.